Hi guys, from this month's BBC Good Food magazine, I decided to go with a really, really basic recipe. This cacio e pepe, which is pasta with cheese and pepper, a Roman dish. And I decided to go with this because I'm really broke at the moment. I'm in the process of moving, so all my money is going into that and I had all the ingredients for this at home. I have the magazine's recipe, so this recipe is for two people and you'll need 150 grams of grated Pecorino Romano, but I find it's easier to weigh the cheese before you grate it, so do that. You want the cheese to be as finely grated as possible, so I recommend a microplane for this because the finer it is, the quicker it'll melt into the sauce. Finely grating cheese is one of those jobs that always takes me way longer than I think it should. The recipe says to put the pasta on to boil and then to start grating, but I'm doing it first because I don't want the pasta to cook before I finish grating the cheese. Once you're finally done, just set it aside until later. Then bring a big pot of salted water to the boil and add your pasta. The recipe calls for 200 grams of tonnarelli or spaghetti, but I only had linguine in the cupboard, so that's what I'm using. Then just boil until al dente. According to the packet instructions, for me, that was 11 minutes. In the meantime, place a dry frying pan over a high heat and add a small handful of black peppercorns. Then allow them to toast for about two minutes and shake the pan continuously until they become really, really nice and aromatic. Then take them off the heat and transfer them to a pestle and mortar. Your pestle and mortar doesn't have to be this, this monstrously big or heavy, but I had a decent sized ceramic one before and it just broke when I was making guacamole, so I overcompensated and went with this monstrosity. So then just bash up the peppercorns until they're nice and coarsely ground. You don't have to get them super fine here at all. A bit of texture is actually nice in the pasta. Then just set them aside until later. When the pasta is cooked, go ahead and strain it, but make sure you keep the pasta water to loosen the sauce. Do this by taking another saucepan, lining it with a colander and pouring the pasta into it. That'll save all the pasta water. Now you need to be quite quick about this, so take a wide, heavy base saucepan and melt a small knob of butter in it. Then over a medium heat, scatter over most of the pecorino and stir quickly with a wooden spoon. As you're stirring, add a ladle of the pasta water into the cheesy sauce. Once the sauce is smooth and glossy, pile in all the cooked pasta and stir to coat every strand. A good tip for doing this is taking a pair of tongs and with it, grab a bunch of pasta, lift it up and let it fall from a height. Do this a couple of times until all the pasta is really nice and coated. Add some more pasta water if you need to and then serve at the table. Then plate up the pasta really, really generously. Sprinkle over the remaining grated cheese from earlier and the cracked black pepper as well. Add to taste. Then dig in and enjoy and congratulate yourself for making a tasty but really economical dinner. Thanks really for watching guys. I really hope you liked this video and will try this recipe yourself at home. If you did, be sure to hit the like button below and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. You can check me out on social media if you like. You'll find all the links to my accounts in the description below, as well as the link to my blog where you'll find this full recipe at www.rookiecook.org.